this is a, a hall back array. Uh, in this case, it consists of uh, five separate magnets. As you can see from the um, the arrows actually on the magnets, um, they have to be positioned in a very particular way. Um, the arrows indicate the direction of uh, uh, the magnetism, with the X being uh, the back of the gyro and the target being the front of the gyro. Um, you've got some grub screws on the um, on the front there, which um, enable you to to lock the magnets into place. Um, it comes as a kit, and the, the last magnet is very difficult to uh, to fit in. Um, and what you get is uh, the nearest thing to a monopole magnet. And that's a, a magnet with only one pole on it. So the field is very strong on one side, incredibly weak the other side, almost non-existent. And the kit comes with a magnetic viewing card, which is uh, looks just uh, green until you get uh, close to a magnet. When you put a magnet there and run the card over. You can see you can see the magnetic uh, field there. Um, so moving it around, we turn it around and have a look at the back. Not particularly interesting. Now, if we turn on its side, we'll be able to actually see the uh, the effect of the uh, the whole back array. So it's very strong on the one side and very weak on the other. It's, it's actually uh, curving around quite quickly. Um, that is basically uh, the effect of the the whole back array. Strong one side, weak the other side. Of course, you can use two together and uh, by pushing them together the, the one way they're, they're uh, opposing one another or attracting one another very very rapidly and by pushing them the other way you get hardly any effect um, so um, all back arrays very interesting get used for some types of uh, like levitating trains that sort of thing um, various all back arrays will get used in very efficient motors as well but uh, this is a kit version to to play around with